Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review this amazing journal set. So as you can tell right now, I have literally the whole set right here, which I'm super, super, super excited about. This is literally the first journal set that I have, um, I have ever seen in person. I have seen them online, seen the reviews, but Thomas Nelson was totally, totally amazing and sent me the whole entire set. So I am, I am blown away. I am in awe right now, you guys. Okay, so I op I only opened up one. I um, let you see exactly how they come. Um, you can buy these individually, or uh, there's some that you can't and you have to like, I don't know which ones you can't exactly. I didn't go through and like look at everything, but there's some that you have to get them um, in a set. So most of them you can get by themselves or you can buy the whole entire thing, however you want to do it, it's up to you. But um, I did want to show you like how they came. So they have this saran wrap. So it really protects the actual box itself. And I like the, I'm trying to see, I don't want to cut the box because this is a super, super sharp blade. So I'm trying to keep it up. There we go. All right. So it's like Christmas time. And this is the Abide Bible Journaling Set, okay? Um, I was about to say, I know there's a piece of paper here. Come here. It's sticking. There we go. All right, so here is the paper that you're going to get on it. All right. Now I'm super curious to see. Oh, I don't have that one no more. Okay. I threw that paper away. But I want to see if they were all just 40. No, this one right here. So I'm sure this one was way more. This one right here is a different price. This one right here is 59. This one right here was 49. This little one right here. Is also 30 oh that's 34 I thought I said 49 <laughs> but um okay oops keeps hitting the tripod here but all right so as you can tell from the box they have this beautiful it is continuing on with the abide Bible um, vines like you're literally abiding in God you abide in him and he's going to abide in you love it now I'll go ahead and share Genesis. Okay, on, on the front of each journal, they're going to have a different scene. So Genesis has, it looks like literally, this could be the tree of knowledge, good and evil. So a scene from um, the Garden of Eden. And then Exodus, of course, the burning bush. So I was super curious about that. I was like, so are all the journals going to be the same? And they're not. The quality of the paper, you all, it's amazing. Now this is in the N, the NET tra translation. So the N-E-T. Here's numbers. And then Deuteronomy. Oh, I like Deuteronomy's. Look at that. They're carrying the Ark of the Covenant. And it's beautiful. I mean, that foiling is outstanding. And then on the spines, you get the actual name of the book. And then Net Abide Bible. Well, a Thomas Nelson. It's not Abide Bible because it's a journal. So... Each set has its own box. They all have their different little um, pictures on the actual journal. But I did want to go ahead, instead of just showing you, well, I can. I'll show you the inside. Here's Job, the book of Job. Oh, that's, that's like, it's a tornado. 
So that's cool. The inside of it is the title page, the copyright page. Now it would tell you how you can use this journal. It uses the same little um, key con concepts, key um, symbols, just like the Bible. So you can totally use this journal and your Bible together. And we have big, bold, beautiful font. So it's extremely readable, so no one's going to suffer on trying to read this. We have the journal and each little um, symbol contemplate. Um, journal, praying the scriptures. All right. So I went ahead and I wanted to show you all what it looked like when you were actually you know using your journal instead of just being like every other Bible reviewer and just showing you the basics like what is inside of the journal I'm going to actually show you how it looks like being used okay so this first page as you could tell right here is a little smudge this is the um the crowns from Mr. Pin so the Mr. Pin crowns that I absolutely love Look how bold and vibrant they are. They are amazing. But, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, coming down here, I was sitting there just doing the red, marking down all of, I was literally finishing one of these questions because you're supposed to make two lists over here. And this is my list, but I was coming through and I was marking in. So, I'm sitting here coming down. I am got in all the wicked. So, I come over here to get the um. The, the blessings, the the positive. And I'm, when I'm up here, the, my elbow, my little wrist or whatever, moved down and it smudged. So <laughs> it needed a little bit more time to dry just because the paper is so thick. So it does try to absorb more, which is good because it really, really shows vibrant color. But once it's dry, I mean, you can tell there is no kind of like bleed through or nothing. So, I did want to share that. This one over here, I use my mild, my mild liners. Obviously, no kind of bleed through. Thick, thick paper. And if you're interested in knowing what kind of pins and everything I use, please check out my pin bag. I have a whole playlist sharing all of that information. I mean, you could go more in depth into marking up everything, but I just wanted to keep it somewhat simple, but still to where you guys can still kind of understand what I'm doing. I don't want to hold it too long. It's like, it's my personal reflection and prayers. and I don't really want to share it, but I mean, I'm trying to show you it, this journal in use. Because you get a better understanding of it when you see the actual products being used instead of just a plain, you know, a plain one. So I did just want to come on and just show these bad boys in use. They are literally amazing. And then after you get done with that book, you put it in its nice little box. Can you imagine what all these journals would look like completely filled up? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest putting stickers and a lot of stuff on every single page because that does swell up the actual book so it, they're kind of tight they have to be tight just so it's not super tight I mean you can see it it falls out but so they don't fall out so easily but that's just something something to think about but I do want to say thank you to the amazing team over there at Thomas Nelson I mean I am I'm literally in awe. Make sure you all check out my description box, all the links for this um, journal set, I want to call it a Bible, <laughs> will be found there and in the pinned comment, okay? So let me know if you guys have these yourself, um, what all you like to do on them. Have you tried other products uh, in them or, excuse you, have you tried using other products or do you just keep it, you know, just for journaling and just 
you don't go and be creative, right? I'd like to know that. Okay, if you do have any questions, leave them for me down in the comments below. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.